Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's doing well. You play champions, but um, it is very, very hot today. It's been very, very unbearable. So I just turned on my AC, so I'm sorry if you guys hear it in the background, but I've been dying all day, so I kind of need it. Um, so hopefully the room here will be pretty cool within the next half hour. But today, I have an exciting set review for you guys. It is a big one, I will say that. I spent a lot of money for this one, okay? So for this one, I'm just gonna show you. So, bam, all right? Set 75326, Boba Fett's throne room for 732 pieces. So, first off, I think the build looks pretty cool. This is obviously based off of the end of Mandalorian Season 2, when Boba Fett and uh, Fennec Shand um, go back to Jabba's palace, and they, they, spoil, spoiler, they kill, um, they kill Biff Fortuna, and then they take back the, uh, they take over, essentially. Um, box art looks awesome. Obviously, we have a green stripe for, um, the Book of Boba Fett to represent, um, that's from that show. It comes with seven minifigures, um, five of which are completely unique to this set. Um, I mean, if you want to count the, the uh, Gaborian Guard, but I mean, he's got a whole new print, so it is, I will say, unique to this set. But um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to tear this bad boy up and we're going to get going with it, so. I just completely swiped it off the table. I probably shouldn't have done that. Cut, cut, to, cut to the next scene. And of course, first up, we have Boba Fett. And this is, I believe, the newest variant um, that LEGO has made of Boba Fett. Of course, the paint job and armor style is based off of The Mandalorian Season 2. Um, and this is also the second um, variant of this minifigure. The first one you can get comes out in Boba Fett Starship in case you wanted to get um, Boba Fett, um, especially this specific variant for a lot cheaper. You can get them like for $60 cheaper in that set. Um, but of course, it's the same one. He comes with a cool um, helmet, obviously. The, um, the red, I believe, is a little darker than the normal. Of course, it comes with a dark green chest plate and all the black underneath. It comes with a printed um, chest printed legs and feet um and printed arms and one of course has the um has the uh mandalorian i believe symbol on it i can't remember what the name of the symbol is and I, I know there's a whole lore behind it but i can't remember and also the wrist rockets are actually printed on the arms which is pretty cool and then obviously he has the jet pack on the back and then if you take his helmet off he comes with the um scarred um, face, which I actually I like this new face for Boba Fett, and it's also the um, correct skin tone of uh, Tamora Morrison, which is really awesome. But overall, cool fig, glad to have another variant, so. And our second figure of the set is going to be Fennec Shand. She unfortunately does not come with the helmet mold. I do not know why Lego decided not to do this. But you know what? They never do anything rationally, so I can't really blame them. Um, she does come with a dual-sided face, I believe. So she has kind of a smirk on this one. And on the other side, it's more of a calm, collected. She also does have some nice little facial scars, which I think are pretty cool. Um, chest printing is pretty cool. A lot of detail. She also does come with arm printing, which is pretty nice. And this one's kind of got not that much, but this one has a lot of detail. I just like how there's a difference in the arms. And um, she also does come with leg printing too, as well as back printing. If you take off the head, you can see the back printing as well. Um, a lot of people give um, people flack for the hairpiece. I actually think the hairpiece looks pretty good. I mean, I don't see any problems with it. it looks pretty accurate to me. So the only thing about this figure that I don't like is the freaking blaster. It's just... I hate the blasters that are so long. Like, I mean, the blaster is already pretty long just itself, but if you're gonna add on a freaking scope to it, it just makes it so like abnormally long. I just don't quite like the look of it. I wish they had given like it, it 
I wish they had given her like the candle piece that they're using for the blasters for like the clones. But um, she's a sniper, so they have to make it a tad bit different. But I mean, overall, it's a good figure. I quite like her. Moving on to our third figure of this set, we have a weak way pirate. This is a unique figure to this set. Um, no other ones like it. We have gotten weak ways in the past, but this is the first weak way, um, the first new one in a while, I guess I'll say. Um, face printing looks awesome. And then if I turn around, the braids are actually printed on the back of the head and then they fall down onto the back print which I think is pretty cool. Back printing's nice, and then the front printing has pr is pretty good, the chest printing. I also like how those braids kind of follow down to the front. No leg printing and then no arm printing, but to be honest, I'm not super disappointed about that. I mean, the fact that we even got um, a unique figure like this in the set was pretty much well worth it. Also, we got a, um, a silver blaster, which I think is kind of cool. But overall, awesome fig. Now onto our fourth figure, we have a Gamorrean guard. So, first thing I noticed right off the bat, um, this is the same um, body mold that has been used in the past. Um, it's one piece, so you take it off. There's no printing on the back, no printing on the front. It's just one solid piece. And um, it's the same as the last one we got, which was, I believe, about 10 years now. I believe we got one with the Jabba's Palace, and we also got one with the Rancor Pit. When I was younger, I actually I actually did have the uh, the Rancor pit, so I actually did get one of these. It just looks a tad bit different, um, but overall, it does have good light printing, which is pretty much the only thing that's printed on this character. And then he does come with a cool little um, battle axe. Um, the one thing that makes me a tad bit annoyed is that it didn't include two Gamorrean guards this set, which in the show there's two Gamorrean guards, so I don't know why they would do that um but you know what lego like i said they make these decisions that make no sense which is pretty common for lego so maybe we'll get another one in another future book of boba fett set but um yeah you do get one and it is pretty solid so i also do like the um the armor on the shoulders here i think this might be new to the mold besides anything but um overall pretty cool Onto our next figure, we have a Thelen Dancer, which is pretty cool. Uh, this hair piece is pretty unique. This is definitely just a crazy looking minifig. A lot of detail going on. Good detail on the chest printing, good detail on, on the foot printing. And it looks like she has like some kind of like weird like elephant foot thing going on, but it's I think it's pretty neat. She does come with back printing. And then she also has a double-sided face as well. So if I take this hair piece off, and then turn it around. She comes with a little more of an angry, an angry face. She's very annoyed with what's going on right now. But overall, I think this figure is really, really unique and um, I'm super stoked to have it in my collection. So yeah, alrighty. Moving on to our next one, we have a Quarren minifigure. Finally, Lego decided to make a Quarren minifigure. It only took them like, you know, 30 plus years, but they finally got around to it. The head mold is new and exclusive to Lego, and it's, I thought it was going to be like a harder, like plastic, but it's actually a bit more rubbery than I thought it would be. Like it's got, it's got some bend to it, which I like, um, but I think it's pretty good. I mean, kids definitely be careful. Don't, you know, be putting these in your mouth, but I quite like it. But if you take the head off, um, you can see it's got, he's got some, uh, some chest printing here that goes onto his legs, got some nice leg printing. And then he also has some cool um, back printing too. And then um, I put his head back on. It kind of covers it a little, it kind of covers it mostly so you can't see it. But I mean, the fact that Lego, you know, went the extra mile and just said, hey, I want to put the detail on there for him. I mean, it looks pretty good. He didn't come with a blaster. I mean, on the box, he doesn't have the blaster, but um, I wanted to give him the blaster anyway, because I thought he would look cooler if he had a blaster. So. Um, yeah, I also like, like the little silver pistol. I think it looks cool, but, um, yeah, that is his blaster now. He will own that, but yeah, cool minifig. First time ever being in a Lego set, first core minifigure to be made period. Um, and I'm really excited to have it in my collection. And of course our last figure, we have a fat Bib Fortuna. I've never owned a Bib Fortuna minifigure before, 
so this is my first one and um overall printing is really nice um i also think this um this head mold bit his th this thing i can't really his hair or whatever you call it or his skin this is a brand new mold um first time ever lego has used it so that's fairly new for him he comes with this really lame looking staff scepter thingy but i mean it looks it's all right i mean they don't need to be going crazy over the detail but overall um body printing very very detailed it's like he's wearing some sort of like multi-layered coat and he also does come with a double-sided face that first one was kind of like oh you know see a little serious this one's a little more worried like he knows that Boba Fett found him he's gonna shoot him and he's gonna be dead soon but um yeah overall I think the Bib Fortuna minifigure has a lot of detail which I'm actually kind of starting to realize right now um yeah this is really good and he even comes with back printing too that you can kind of barely see but yeah but I, I like the way this fig looks and I'm also like I said I know I keep saying it but I'm glad to have all these figs in my collection I'm just growing it at this point and this is definitely a cool addition overall this is a fairly massive set um it's quite quite chunky um when i see this stuff up here it almost makes me feel like they're gonna do an add-on to this set um they've done it before in the past i mean they did the butt um words they did the Jabba's palace and then like the year later they um they did the rancor pit which was an attachment that you just put on the bottom of Jabba's palace um, and that way we, we could get maybe, you know, Black Chrysanthemum uh, or, you know, the other Gamorrean Guard or Cad Bane. Um, put like the back to tank up here from the Book of Boba Fett. Overall, I just think it'd be pretty cool. Um, the back is quite nice. You have like a little snake right here, which for some reason, I guess snakes existed in Star Wars. But um, I mean, yeah, they, they were on Dagobah. But anyway, so... There's like this turret piece here on the front of the door that moves around you can move up and down. You can kind of move it side to side. Um, but you, you basically have 360 motion with this turret up here, which is pretty cool. The door is quite nice. The eye pops out like it does in the movie and you could have it like be looking at a character and stuff like that. And you can put the eye back in. And the cool thing about the door is that it slides up quite nicely and quite smoothly. The only kind of weird thing is that it's like kind of right like up there so then it just kind of shows out there but you can put that back down there's not a problem um so this is kind of like the watchtower area this is like the main like you know bulk of the build i think that you could also put some characters up here and have them doing whatever and then you have this little thing right here you have a barrel here and then inside the barrel um you have some thermal uh detonators which i always thought was a cool piece for um for lego star wars because it looks exactly like they did in the um come on focus focus come on Ooh, hold on because they look exactly the way that they do in the um the clone wars tv show but yeah so as far as the back of this um thing goes that's how it looks one more key detail i forgot to mention the back of this set actually does open up which is kind of neat um i just gotta quite quickly so the back of this set does open up for some reason and you can have like a bit of a more fuller area so you kind of have like the kitchen in the back and you have like the little like the kitchen utensils like that um and then you can actually see into the back of the throne room and then you actually have like this little chicken rotisserie thing up here um, which is kind of cool you have like some some liquid or whatever stuff like that just like random little details in the back of this thing, but that actually opens up and you can close it and then it actually um, clicks in, um, but then rotating it to the front here, we have all this um, interior space. These two parts of the set, you can actually unhook and then you can move them in like so. And same thing with this one you can unhook and then you can bring them in like so this kind of makes it seem a little more um a little more enclosed as if you were playing in an actual building but overall i think it's quite nice um starting at this side here 
as we can. This one has a neat little play feature right there where you can put a character on the stairs, like so, and say, you know, Boba Fett's shooting at him and he shoots him and then, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you hit this knob on the side and then the stairs um, move, move slightly and you can knock the character down. Up here, there's like a little pair of binoculars you can have one of your characters using so they can, you know, be up here. You know, be the lookout with the binoculars here. I will have them down there for now. Moving to the middle of the build. Um, this throne is pretty neat. Um, I quite like the way it looks. Um, surprisingly, there were not that many stickers in this set. I believe the only stickers that I had to put on, there were two here. And then all the other stickers were on the chair. So the back, these back stickers here, I had to put on. And then these Rancor stickers here, I had to put on. I tried to do my best placement that I could. But um, unfortunately, you know, I'm not... A rocket scientist so i couldn't get them on as best as i could but as i wish that these pieces here would have come printed but it's it's fine the throne um actually does come out of the uh build Give me one second you can grab it by the, that small piece here you can actually drag it out you could have a little more spacious area and then under the throne there's some like bars of silver and like a blaster you can store under there and the throne does come with a little function um you could have boba fett say you know like right here on the throne you know he sees Fit fortuna hogging up his, his seat you um touch this little lever here and pretend to shoot at him and it knocks him out of the seat like so bam so he's out and then you could take boba fett like so and you can put him in the chair instead because he is the head honcho and not this fat piece of crap. But yeah, um, a lot of detail on the, on the inside. Little box of bones there. There's a crystal in this little thing here. Um, and then this piece right here I thought was pretty cool. It's like a little lantern or something. But you can also um, slide the... Um, thrown back in like so but it comes out and goes in quite easy um and then this little area right here not too much going on just some seats for like a, like a little bar area kind of like in the moss Eisley, Eisley's cantina got a little drink there and some little seats you can put minifigures in so you can take um this pirate minifig and put them in there like so you can just kind of chill out with the corn um but overall i mean i'm i'm not too upset with this it's a pretty good set and it's got a lot of playability comes with a lot of characters um for some reason though i don't know why but the throne it doesn't look like a good throne i don't know why like the like the the seat i understand it has that function but I feel like it didn't need it. It just kind of felt like it was the most unnecessary feature to put in a throne. Like I'd rather just have a good looking throne than have, you know, one where you just tilt it and the character falls out. I just think it kind of ruins the aesthetics of it. I mean, I like the Rancor, um, I like the little Rancor sides here and it looks good, but then you take the minifig out of it and it just looks super weird. Like, I don't know. It just looks kind of dumb to me. That's like kind of my, my my big problem with how this looks is just the minifig. Um, not the minifig, just the, the throne. The throne just looks kind of stupid to me. Um, yeah, that's kind of like my only problem with it. Um, besides that, you have a great minifig selection. Um, so you have, you come with a ton of stuff. You got tons of roof space too. So I could stick a lot of like kids like doing like roof battles. Like, you know, like put a Gamorrean guard on there and then have it battle with Boba Fett or whatever. Um, but uh, ugh. but overall, um, I'm quite pleased with this. It comes with a lot of unique figures and um, super excited to have it in my collection. So what are my overall thoughts? Overall, I think it's a very um, big set. 
Um, I think you have a lot of playability. There's a lot of room. There's a lot of things that you can adjust to meet your standards with it. Um, I especially like how you can fold um, the surrounding buildings in to make it more enclosed. You have things you can open up. You can open up the back um, to re reveal like another play area. I think that's great. Comes with seven minifigs for $100. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Um, you know, you see a lot of $100 sets these days that don't come with that many minifigs. So I think that's quite a good price point. I mean, the Cad Bane's Justifier, which just came out for $170, has five minifigs. And, you know, two of those minifigs are repeats. So it's nice to, you know, to get a set for $100 where even though you're getting seven minifigs and two of those are repeats, you're still getting five minifigs that um, are either new variants or have never existed before. So, I mean, that's that's pretty solid. Um, besides that, the only thing I didn't quite like was the throne. I, I'm looking at it right now and I hate it. I just don't think the design of the throne is good. I just don't really know. There didn't need to be a play feature in the throne. I'd rather they had just gotten rid of the play feature and just made it like a regular like aesthetically pleasing looking throne. But I mean, they wanted to go that route. So, I mean, I don't mind. I mean, at the end of the day, this set is based off the end of Mandalorian season two, where Boba Fett and Fennec Shand storm the palace and then they kill um, um, Bib Fortuna. So, I mean, obviously he's sitting in the throne when he kills them. So they need a way to, they just needed, Lego likes to find ways to just kind of jack in just random play features that really don't need to be there but i mean um that one was kind of eh, I, I could take it or leave it but like i said seven minifigs five of them being fairly exclusive i mean unless you want to not count the gamorian guard then technically it's four but the gamorian guard is 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 kind of like got a new thing going on so i'm quite okay with it which also brings me to me should have been two gamorian guards don't know why there was one, should have been two, but maybe Lego is, you know, planning on doing an add-on to this and then we'll get another one. But till then, I'm okay with it. But overall, I would give this one like an eight out of 10. It's pretty solid. Um, but with that being said, thank you guys for tuning into my channel. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all later. Saka! You're supposed to be dead now. I don't really know why you're still watching the video, but it's fine. And fade to black.